City, then pay attention. I'm about to sing your song, son. Well, I'm not a man to point a judge, a bare wheel, and a hold a grudge, but I think it's time to send me a few choice words. It's all about that demon, the automobile, the metal monster with the polyglass wheels, the end result of the dream of Henry Ford. Well, honey, that's something else. Well, you can get stereo tape and a color TV, get a backseat bar and reclining seats, and just pay once a month like you do your rent. Well, I figured it up in over a period of time. This $4,000 car of mine cost $14,000.99. Well, now, Lord, Mr. Ford, I just wish that you could see what your simple horse's carriage had to come. Well, it seems your contribution to me Say the least, got a little out of hand. Well, Lord, Mr. Ford, what have you done? Now, the average American father and mother own one whole car and have another. And I bet that half a car is a trick to drive, don't you? But the thing that amazes me, I guess, is the way we measure a man's success by the kind of an automobile he can afford to buy. Get out the credit card, honey, we're out of gas. Well, now all the cars place in the end would reach to the moon and back again. There'd probably be some poor fool pull out the pants. Well, now how I yearn for the good old days without that carbon dioxide haze I hanging over the roar of the interstate. Well, if the Lord that made the moon and the stars would have meant for me, and you'd have cars he'd have seen that was all born with a park in space. Simple horseless carriage has become Well, it seems your contribution 
Sitting in this beer joint down in Houston, Texas. He's drinking Colorado Kool Aid and talking to some Mexicans. And we was, what's that you say? What's Colorado Kool Aid? Well, it's a can of Coors brewed from a mountain stream. It'll set your head on fire and make your kidneys scream. Oh, it sure is fine. Yeah, we was having ourselves one of them real good times. But you know every fear joint that you've ever been in, some big mean drunk who just ain't got no friends. Sure enough, he wants to fight. Yeah, he's gonna whip everything in sight. Well, he took him a big cold swallow of beer and he walked over and spit in my Mexican friend's ear. Sure enough, that made my buddy real mad. That's something like he ain't never had. Well, sir, he pulled out a big long switchblade knife. Quick as a whistle, he began to slice. And that big mean drunk stood back face full of tears, looking down at the floor in one of his ears. <laughs> he cut that thing off even with a sideburn. You might say the little Mexican fella, he just didn't give a darn. But he was a gentleman about it. Bent over with a halfway grin, picked it up and handed it back to him. He said, now, big man, you get the urge to spit a little beer. Just open up your hand there and spit it in your own ear. Won't be no trouble that way. That's what I heard him say. Then I said, barmaid, set us up around that Colorado Kool-Aid. While you're up there, bring this big fella here a box of Band-Aids. Now, let me tell you. If you're ever riding down in South Texas and decide to stop and drink some Colorado Kool-Aid and maybe talk to some Mexicans and you get the urge to get a little tough, better make damn sure you got your knife through ear mud. Hey, ain't that right, big man? I said, ain't that right, big man? Ah, oh, hell, he can't hear. Not on this side, anyway. He ain't got no ear. Hey, barmaid, bring us all a big, tall glass of that Colorado Kool-Aid. How about it? How you doing, big man? Still got your ear there in your hand? I got kicked out of the South for thinking too much. And, um... <laughs> Asking uh, questions at all the wrong times, like ever. They're not fans of that. But I, uh, you know, the other reason I got kicked out of this is because I don't drink sweet tea. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. There's a good reason why I don't drink sweet tea. You know, it's because uh, I'm an adult and I don't need brown Kool Aid. That's why. Because I'm a fucking grown up and I can drink something bitter once in a while without going, I need a Jolly Rancher to swizzle in it. Too bitter. And while I'm on the subject, God damn it! I, I, all right, God, we have to straighten this shit out forever. I, I only get one shot at this, so we really need to focus. All right, for the record, Starbucks does not sell coffee. Starbucks sells milkshakes. That's not coffee they're selling. 
coffee is that shit your dad used to drink by the fucking gallon so he could stay awake at work and not fall into the machinery and he'd live long enough to put you through school and he'd hold it under your nose when you're nine you're like, fuck dad, you drink that? What is that shit? That, that's coffee. Yeah. Anything that is 80% ice cream has whipped cream on top of it and caramel syrup and the top of the cup looks like a tit is a fucking milkshake, you infant. They don't even hide it anymore. Just Grow up. Jesus. I had to skip lunch the other day, so I had a power bar. You had a candy bar for lunch. You had a candy bar for lunch. You had a milkshake for breakfast. You drink water out of a bottle with a nipple on it, you fucking toddler. I other than that, I have no opinion. I... <laughs> I, uh, yeah, so I, but my thing is, like, I, I don't drink sweet tea, uh, but I, if you do it and you like it, knock yourself out. I'm one of those people who believes, yeah, if you like something and it doesn't affect me, you should be allowed to do it, right? You know, so if you drink sweet tea, knock it, but the problem is, so many people drink sweet tea in this culture, you can't order plain iced tea anywhere in the country. Try it. Hey, can I get a plain iced tea? You mean I'm flattened? <laughs> no. I mean plain. Now you mean unsweetened. No, I mean plain. Now you mean unsweetened. No, I mean plain, because there's no such fucking thing as unsweetened iced tea. What kind of an asshole sugars a beverage and then takes the sugar back out again? What, how do you even do that? Show me the machine that unsweetens the tea, ma'am. How long is this going to take? How do, you, how do you bitter it back up? Do you use your personality or... <laughs> And it's a polysyllabic word. It has multiple syllables. Who comes up with a polysyllabic word to replace plain? It makes... It goes against the laws of slang. It's wasting my fucking time. Fine, sir. Fine, you can have plain iced tea, whatever. God. Can you get a plain iced tea? Unsweetened. <laughs> I don't know why. I think he's crazy. I already pushed the button for the cops under the thing. Just make it. I'll keep him busy. What size do you want, sir? I don't know. I'll have a small. We don't have small. We have medium and large. No, you don't. Yes, we do, sir. We have medium and large. No, you don't. You have small and large. No, we have medium and large. No, you have small and large, because you can't have a medium unless you have a small and a fucking large to base it on, you inbred. That's what it means. It's a median point between two extremes. It can't exist without the other two. It's fucking impossible. The only way that glass of iced tea is a medium is if it can talk to the dead. Next stop, Coopersville. Hey, buddy. Buddy. How was the bathroom, buddy? Pretty gruesome. Buddy, I had to hold my breath, buddy. <laughs> buddy, don't even tell me about it, buddy. Buddy, I know. Buddy, M&M. Chocolate me, buddy. Tasty, buddy. Buddy, definitely. Hey, get in on this drink, buddy. Buddy, don't mind if I do. It's a bloody, buddy. Buddy, it's killer. Buddy! Sorry, buddy. Save me some, buddy. Buddy, I said I was sorry. It's okay, buddy. Hey, dude. Hey, buddy. Dudes, you know this dude? What's up, dude? Hey, buddy. Buddy, sit down. Have some bloody, buddy. Dude. Dudes, here's a sixer. Budweiser time. 